Hey, hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to the uh, mastering protocol uh, with the AXI series. So today we are going to look at uh, AXI write with a fixed AW address and we will vary the length of the transactions. So we will use a data bus width of uh, 32 bits, which is four bytes. And what we are going to do today is we will issue all the transactions to this uh, last address hex one triple F uh, of different length. So one to seven bytes, and then uh, we will end it with the uh, one zero uh, to four bytes. Uh, all these videos are brought to you by uh, GrowDB. So you can visit the website and learn more about how you can assess yourself. Uh, so what I have done is I have already uh, loaded the test uh, with this scenario in the uh, curiosity uh, transaction analysis and uh, visualizer tool. Uh, so first we will look at the AXI transaction, which is a high level stimulus that's generated either by your UVM sequence or issued by software. So what I've done is I've filtered for address uh, hex one triple uh, F and we can see we have a varying length from one to seven bytes and uh, one zero to four bytes. And these are the transaction counts. So this transaction count is common uh, between the high level transactions and the actual activity that takes place on the channels to make it easy to correlate uh, in this particular setup. So uh, we'll start off with the first one. So this is the uh, write of one byte and I have already filtered for the transaction count of eight. Um, simple. Uh, I think we are starting the burst with uh, uh, one uh, the address of one triple F uh, AW size encoding two indicating four bytes. We are going to do a single burst. So we are issuing a single burst. And if I scroll a little bit to the right side, I can see that we are using a right strobe value of eight, uh, which is indicating we are using the uh, byte lane three uh, for writing one byte. So very simple scenario. Um, Let's go to the next one, which is a transaction count of 16 and the length over here will be two bytes. So that, that will make it a little bit more interesting. So uh, if we see over here, uh, we are issuing the first burst uh, again to the one triple F, the unaligned address, and we are doing the first beat and it's to the right strobe of eight uh, the uh, the byte lane three is being utilized to write the first byte and uh, since this is a two byte right we still have to do one more byte now you can notice that the first one was an unaligned address the second burst is starting with the aligned address of hex 2000 and we are issuing the beat uh, of this uh, second burst and here uh, we are utilizing the right strobe value of one, which is the lower byte lane. Uh, we are writing that or uh, writing the next byte to the address hex 2000 aligned on the lower byte lane and we receive the responses for both of them. Uh, another point to observe would be that the AW ID for both the bursts is same, uh, ensuring that the ordering between these two bursts is maintained. Uh, so now next move let's next let uh, let's move next to the uh, three bytes uh, right which is a uh, transaction count of 24 and here I think the pretty much everything remains same except for the fact that the uh, the beat of second burst uh, will be utilizing a value of right probe of three uh, and that means using two bytes and then there's a one byte over here. So that becomes like a three bytes, right? So that's how the three uh, bytes are written and the AWID remains same. So we are maintaining the ordering. So let's move on to the uh, fourth, uh, which is the fourth, uh, which is four bytes. And uh, let me uh, filter for 32 and uh, uh, nothing much uh, surprising or very different except for the fact that we are now using a right strobe value of seven, which means it's three bytes plus one byte that we are writing four bytes. Uh, it's split into two bursts and then the AWID remains constant to make sure that the ordering is maintained. Uh, I think now it's going to become uh, 
slowly it is going to become more interesting. Um, let's see how what happens on the fifth byte. Uh, so let me go to the uh, fifth byte. So fifth byte, uh, it is still two bursts and both the bursts are of one beat. And here, uh, since we are doing the five bytes, we are utilizing the whole data bus, right? So with the F, we are utilizing four bytes plus one, five bytes. So now uh, we should be able to see some further action when we go to six bytes, because the six byte is going to overflow the data bus width. Uh, so let me filter for the transaction 48 and okay, let's see here what we see. So uh, we have two bursts and in the second burst, now we see two beats. And uh, if we scroll to the right, we see that the first strobe is doing, uh, it's utilizing all the bytes, uh, four bytes, but the second beat uh, is utilizing one byte, right? And it's using the lower uh, byte lane. Uh, so a total of five and this one byte in the first burst uh, leading to total of six bytes. So we can see that uh, because of the uh, 4KB address boundary crossing, we are getting multiple bursts. And whenever the data length uh, in the second burst crosses that of a data bus width, uh, the number of beats uh, have started increasing. So that's, uh, that is, I think, the observations that uh, you guys should be able to make. Uh, I think let's go once to the seven byte write and let's confirm the pattern. Uh, so let me go to the seven byte write and yeah, so we can see that we still have two bursts. We have two beats and in the second beat of second burst, now the number of bytes utilized uh, has become two bytes uh, in the seven byte case compared to uh, one byte of six byte case. So, so we can see that now the number of uh, bytes utilized in the beats are increasing. Uh, so let's go to the last one, which uh, is uh, we have 1024. Um, there is a total transaction length. Uh, so that's the your uh, 64th one. Uh, it's going to take a moment to load because of we have so many uh, uh, transactions and it's always good to see uh, in real life how these look like, uh, right? So we have again two bursts. Uh, first burst, one beat. Uh, uh, we are utilizing the uh, lower byte lane uh, for this particular um, uh, beat. Now, if we look at the second burst, uh, the point to notice over here is the second burst is of uh, 256 uh, beats, right? So we are going to have issue 256 beats and all of them are going to be of length four. And uh, so if I, if I scroll down, uh, right, so this just remember that, uh, let me scroll a little bit to the right and then let me scroll down. So if you keep looking at the right strobe uh, for all the 255, it's gonna use all the byte lanes F uh, but whereas when it comes to the last one, it's going to use only three uh, bytes, and uh, so 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 that completes the uh, 1,024 uh, bytes. So there's uh, 1,020 uh, bytes uh, till this point, and then this three bytes will make it 1,023, and then the first burst we had transmitted about one byte, so that completes. Uh, you know, uh, 1024 bytes and we can see uh, both the responses uh, showing up over here. And, uh, and and as usual, I think even in the bursts, we can notice that the uh, AW ID remains the same, uh, which ensures that, uh, you know, the ordering uh, will be maintained. So in overall, if we uh, summarize this video, we were able to see uh, 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 the length varying and the address constant. So we we were able to see for the one byte and, and we had picked one interesting address of on the 4KB boundary. For the one byte, it was just a single burst and single beat. Whereas when we went to two byte, three byte, four byte and five byte, uh, we were able to see two bursts with uh, the second, both the bursts having a single beat because in the uh, second burst, we were able to utilize uh, up to one, two, three, and four bytes to be able to complete the transfer. So it had only one bit. 
but when we moved to 6 byte 7 byte and 1000 or 24 bytes we ended up ha having we still had two bursts but the second burst uh, started expanding to multiple beats uh, to accommodate the entire transfer i hope this gives you a very uh, clear uh, idea of how uh, you know the 4kb uh, boundary uh, then the uh, uh, the length uh, uh, how it affects and how the awid is sort of kept same to maintain the ordering i hope this this gives you that clarity uh, if you have any questions or a request for a specific scenarios uh, please do write to us in the comments thank you